everyone you welcome back again to my channel on today's news obaseki lawmakers tax on anti-open grazing law a group the new nigeria initiative nni has charged edo state governor godwin obaseki and the house of assembly to urgently enact a law on anti-open grazing in the state its chairman uwadia Odige and Secretary Igbotako No Winter made the call yesterday during a peaceful protest to the Secretariat of the Nigeria Union of Journalists in Benin City. Odige said the protest became necessary following failure of the Edo State Government to respond to the Fulani headsmen who have turned the state into a sanctuary of barbarism. It has been established that the Fulani headsmen are the ones unleashing terror on Edo State through the killing of the late Jide Showore and many others, as well as the recent kidnapping of Edo statesmen, Dixon Imaswagbo, among several others. We have been mounting pressure on the Speaker of the Edo State House of Assembly, Marcos Onobo on the urgent need to pass the bill on open grazing ban in Edo State, but all efforts have proved abortive, he said. Odige said the group was excited when the Southern Governors Forum fixed September 1, 2021 to finalize legislation on open grazing ban in their states, but wondered why Edo State government was here to do the needful. Our hopes are becoming dashed in the face of minas, even as we are convinced that the Edo State House of Assembly and Governor Obaseki will soon do the needful to make the law banning open grazing in Edo State an urgent reality, he said. Meanwhile, actual stakeholders have urged farmers in Edo State to make use of organic fertilizers to increase their agricultural yields. Team lead of Ashwitz, Prof. Lawrence Zemoye, gave the charge during the Ashwitz Stakeholders Workshop on Resource Recovery from Waste the Center for global the workshop eco with the innovation, team, knowledge sharing University on issues of and Benin, solutions in collaboration in with the Global Challenges Digest Research Fund in Lancaster to University, in Organic United Kingdom, organized for smallholder farmers in the state. The workshop with the team, knowledge sharing on issues and solutions in anaerobic digested as alternative to inorganic fertilizers followed a similar one organized for small old farmers and students from the Faculty of Agriculture of Uniben. Zemoye, who was represented by Prof. Christopher Emokaro, lamented that Africa farmers were lagging behind in training, capacity building and resources, adding that this has constrained them to restrict farming to the subsistence level contrary to what obtains in other parts of the world. He said a recent study conducted in Edo State showed that 85% of farmers do not use fertilizers, adding that although the state was blessed with felter soil, farmers must use some fertilizers to achieve optimal yields of their crops. He, therefore, canvassed the use of organic fertilizers as it was cheaper, safer, and better than inorganic fertilizers, as well as recommended the use of digestives. Thank you so much for watching. This is the end of the news. Please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. Bye for now. I will see you in my next video. It's Worry Girl.